right, you guys, this is induction round number two. <laughs> this time we're leaving with a baby, no matter what. It is 7 p.m. July 3rd, so it is Monday. And um, last night is when we came in for the second round of induction. And it was kind of crazy last night, so we just didn't even pull the camera out. Um, but basically, um, we got the green light to come to the hospital to be induced. And then when we arrived, they put us in like a little triage room and decided to just do a non-stress test. And we immediately knew, like, this isn't good. Like, what are they doing? And so they tried to just do a non-stress test, and then they wanted to send us home again. And of course, at this point, I am, like, beyond over being pregnant. I am two days, well, now I'm one day away from being 42 weeks. And I was, like, really upset and frustrated. Um, and I kind of felt tricked because we were scheduled for an induction and then they tried to just do the non-stress test and then send me home again. So I basically kind of threw a little tantrum and told them I did not want to leave. They told me they did not have a room for us in labor and delivery. So the solution that we all came up with is that they put me in like a postpartum recovery room last night to get my induction started. So we spent the night um, in like the, a different wing of the hospital, which actually worked to our benefit because that room is flipping amazing. You guys will see like what the recovery rooms look like. Huge TV, more comfortable beds. Um, the room is smaller, but just more comfortable. So we actually got a decent night's sleep while they started. Um, I don't even remember the medication they gave me. It was not Pitocin. Um, it was like a medication that they inserted vaginally and they kept it in for 12 hours and it actually dilated me so I went from like a two to three to up to a five and that was enough for them to move me to labor and delivery today so as of this afternoon I'm in labor and delivery I now have Pitocin going into me um, there's talk about maybe breaking my water soon. I don't know. They need to like recheck me. But um, the doctor said something like we could be having a baby tonight. <laughs> so that's my hope. I don't know. But my contractions are still bearable, which is like kind of frustrating. Like I want to get the show on the road. But we're definitely not leaving without a baby. So I guess that's the best part. It's about it's like 9, 10. at night, um, and they came in and checked me probably an hour, 45 minutes ago. I'm still at 5 centimeters, which is what I was um, after the medication they gave me, so that's kind of a bummer. The doctor said, or the midwife said, that Indy's head still seems really high, too high for her to break my water, so they didn't. Um, and, uh, what else was I going to say? I don't know. My you think your water, you may be leaking. Yeah. yeah, so my contractions are getting pretty strong. They want me to, like, stand and, like, bounce on this ball down here. Um, but as I was standing, I, like, started leaking fluid. Like, I didn't know if I was peeing myself or, like, what was going on. But it was kind of, like, pinkish. Jeez, when you're pregnant, like... Everything's... You have no control. There's nothing, huh? <laughs> um, so they think that maybe my water is, like, leaking. Like, it didn't break like it did with Scout, but it could be leaking. So, um, I don't know. But my contractions are getting strong enough that um, they're getting really hard to... It's, it's almost epidural time. Yeah, I, ho I think it's probably almost epidural time. So, I don't know, my guess is that she will probably be a 4th of July baby. Ouch, okay, one is coming. Oh, man. Everybody can breathe through Ow. it with you. Oh my gosh, okay, I like really... You want me to tell him? Ouch. Oh my gosh. Ow. Yeah, that's really, really, really bad. 
Okay, I, I don't remember the last thing I said, but wait, what was the last thing? Okay, I did talk about my water breaking a little, didn't I? Okay, so yeah, I was in the middle of a contraction, I think, when you turned the camera mm -hmm. Um, I got my epidural. Whoop, whoop. It was scary and <laughs> uncomfortable, but um, ah, I could still feel my contractions. They kind of still hurt, and I'm having one right now. Um, You're having them really close to each other, yeah. so. I don't even know what I was going to update. So now remember. we're just waiting. Did they check me after the epidural? Seven. They checked me after they put the epidural in, and I'm at a seven. So that's progress. Um, my arm hurts really bad because they have to put antibiotics and I'm strep B positive so it like really stings when they do a new dose. Um, oh, let's call her in. And but it's 1130 and they told me that I should probably try to get some sleep. I don't know if that's possible but they want me to have energy to push so that's what we're doing. Just waiting until I'm ready to push, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think everything else is kind of... In place. In place and ready, so I just need to dilate more. And um, They might have to like break my water more. I don't know how that works, because um, right now it's definitely just like a trickle. It's not like... Mm -hmm. I'm sure I still have a lot of fluid in there, so... I've been just hanging around, and I don't feel as sick as I felt when Scout was born, obviously, because I think I'm getting more sleep, but I think I need to get more sleep now before yeah, we start again. Take a nap. So, I think I'm gonna try that, but I'm just hoping she comes quick and easy. Not e I know it's not gonna be easy, but just a lot faster than Scout, and hopefully she'll flip over real quick before she pops out and make it a lot easier on Kaylee. Alright, well, oh, I was just gonna say, um, I probably won't film myself, like, pushing. So, the next time you see us, we might have a baby laying on the chest. Yes. Which is crazy. <laughs> Woo! I'm ready. Harper. Then talk to me. <laughs> She's so quiet and good, just like <laughs> Scout. Scout was just like so quiet when she was born. Look at those perfect hands. <laughs> she was born at what time? Do you know? Two fifty-nine. Two fifty-nine a.m. Uh -huh. I'll show your face. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. You gotta get used to that. Gotta get used to having that in your face. Yeah. <laughs> she just looks so alert. I know. That's exactly how Scout was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're gonna have good newborn pictures. Look at how she just hangs. <laughs> she just said, Hey, Ma. Oh, 47 and 5. It's a big baby. 8 pounds, 15.7 ounces. <laughs> 16 ounces, so that's, she's almost 9 pounds. Yeah. I was almost yeah. right. 20 and a half inches long. can't believe how quiet she's being. Nine pounds. That's crazy. Give birth to a 9 pound baby. <laughs> Right, we've got a poopy diaper crisis. Daddy and Grandma <laughs> taking care of it. <laughs> so we have moved into the postpartum recovery room, 
and I have eaten breakfast so I feel a lot better. It's almost 11 a.m. now so it's been a while. I'm kind of in a lot of pain. Um, a lot of Josh's family has come and they've gotten to hold Indy and now um, I think in about 15 minutes my family is gonna leave to head here and they're gonna bring Scout and so I'm gonna change Indy into her little onesie and she can be all prepared with her little sister shirt and she's nine pounds so is she gonna fit all of her newborn stuff <laughs> I also had to add this stuff to my hospital bag because she was born on the 4th of July. This is your sister. <laughs> you want to see her? You want to come see her? So we can set her present right here on the table. It's your here. sister. Come see her. Come, here. come sit on my lap. Climb up. <laughs> That's your sister. She cutie? She looks like you. Does Jim she look like you? <laughs> She's smiling at you. you see her looking at you? She likes to stick out her tongue. <laughs> Do you want to give her a little kiss? Hi. Look, look at her hand. Did you show? Hi. I know. Can you believe the 4th of July? Look how little her hand is. Oh my gosh. Well, she's looking right at you. She knows you're her big oh, sister. Congratulations, Josh. Thanks. She looks so good. She's so cute. She's smiling at you. Yeah. Does she have dark hair? She's more hair than scout. Hi, sweetie. With your eyes open. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And you're wearing your shirt, and did you see that Indy? Mm -hmm. We've got to unwrap her because she's in the same shirt as you. <laughs> you want to grab her present? Maybe you can open it for her because she's not going to know how. So, Indy, what you got her? I think she's gonna like it. Here, let's so squeeze cute. it and we can show her. I have to show the battery in. Will you grab her mm -hmm. present? That for me. I went down. You wanna open it while you're standing up? Yeah, it's like too big. <laughs> it's mm. like too big. Like too big. Where do you wanna open it? On the couch? I can open my camera. Okay. Oh. 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 Can you hold it? What do you think? Oh my goodness. Okay. It comes with a big canoe. Okay. We could open it out of the box. Wow. There you go. That's so cool. <laughs> Scout, what did you think of your little sister? Should we take her home? Wow. Oh my oh. goodness! Oh. Look at you! You're holding her! Scout! Gabby. You're okay. such a good big grandma. sister! Over here, over here, this grandma! Look at Jenny! <laughs> Thank you! Oh Thank you. my good goodness! Is she heavy? <laughs> no? Scout wanted to hold her again. You warming up to being a big sister? 
Oh, you can give her a kiss on the forehead. <laughs> Good job, Scouty. So having a baby. Good job, thank you. All right, Scouty is getting ready to leave. Ooh. Saying goodbye to her you new just sister. Give her a kiss. Good job. Give me a kiss. <laughs> I ordered a hospital lunch just for Scout. She ate pizza. She ate a lot. Good job. Was you going with you? Yeah. All right, Scout's going back home with Grandma and Grandpa, and Kellen and Casey. Oh no! No. Happy Fourth of July. Yes. Happy Independence Day. Love you. Happy Independence Day. Good job, Mommy. It was a very long night. After, sorry, I'm scaring Indy. After Scout came to visit Indy, we didn't film anything for the rest of the day. We were just kind of like trying to rest. Josh's mom came back in the evening and held Indy so that Josh and I could try to get some sleep. But I couldn't sleep and Josh couldn't really sleep. And then when she left, Indy was just kind of like fussy all night. And I, I thought that she had like an upset stomach, but now I'm thinking that maybe she was just hungrier than I thought. Sorry, I got interrupted by the nurse. Um, anyways, I don't even remember what I was saying. I think that Indy was actually hungrier than I thought she was, and I think that's why she was fussy. So we're trying to get the hang of learning like her cues and when she's hungry and when she's hurting. And she did take the pacifier last night for a little bit. Um, but it was just a really, really long night overall. Um, Josh and I are both very tired. At 3 a.m. she turned 24 hours old, so they had a bunch of tests that they wanted to come in and do. Prick her heel a hundred times, which was so sad. Um, and then they also gave her her first bath. So um, now we're doing skin to skin after her first bath to get her nice and toasty again. And she looks so sweet. <laughs> I have also ordered my breakfast. And I think we're going to try to get ready to leave today. Hopefully we can get out of here. I don't know, before noon would be nice. So that's a little update. All right, this cutie's all dressed for the morning. Look at this sweet outfit. It's like Hawaiian print. All right, we're packing up, ready to go. And he's dressed and ready for the road. We've been approved yeah. to leave. Finally. All right, let's put you in the car seat. Oh, she fell asleep. <laughs> you have everything? Ready to you go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Here, I'll let you do this. Remember Scout being so tiny in there? Yeah. Indy actually looks bigger. Because <laughs> she is. She is buckled and her bracelet got cut off. She's ready to go. Just like thank you guys. Alrighty, look at that sweet baby in her car seat. We're headed home. The hospital was great, but we are so excited to be home. And oh, and my grandparents are there right now. They have not met Indy yet. So my mom, my sister, and my grandparents and Scout, they're all waiting for us. And I'm really excited. Home sweet home.
Scotty. Hi to your sister. You've never had her at home, have you? Well, we brought her with us. Hey, you guys kind of match. You're both in like little Hawaiian outfits. I want to wear a Hawaiian one that I can match when she comes home. I know you look so cute. I missed you. Nana just fed Indy and look how content she is. She looks so cozy. Look what we did. We're eating lunch and we put Indy in the rock and play. You think she likes it, Scout? It's our first baby. It's our first day having a baby. Yeah, it's our first day having a baby at home. Scout requested to hold Indy. Look how good you're doing. You're such a big girl. <laughs> she kicks kind of hard, huh? <clears throat> Her legs are really strong. Mm -hmm. Aww. It's so cute. It needs gloves. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't scratch her face, cuts her nails. No, yeah, she's got sharp nails. It's dark and then worth it. <laughs> more than more dark than anything. You think she's going to have dark hair like me? And you're going to have light hair like Mama? <laughs> what are you doing, Scout? <laughs> Doesn't look like she wants any. <laughs> <laughs> this is night number one at home. And I have to say I'm pretty nervous about it. I don't know how it's going to go. We're starting out all in one room. <laughs> I don't know. We had a baby. We had a baby. So we're going to see how it goes. We brought the rock and play okay. in and put it next to the bed. <laughs> so I like we need to get to sleep because India is asleep. And when she's asleep, I should be asleep. And you need to get in bed. And when I sleep, when Daddy How about this? Sleep, when I sleep, you should be. You are right. I'll yeah. take care of Scout. <laughs> oh, gosh. I will sleep with Scout's schedule and you sleep with Indy's schedule. <laughs> Whatever. Because Scout is 11 to 11. All right, Indy. I love you. Let's have a good night. Got my baby stash all right there. All right, can you say goodnight to the camera, Scouty? I love you. We'll see you in the morning, okay? Mm -hmm.